What is up everybody? This is Lawrence again and today we have a pretty cool sneaker. I feel like I, I do one of these recycled sneaker videos almost like once a week at this point but they're releasing in high veracity and uh, no matter what they're better for the world. So without further ado today we have the Chuck Taylor All-Star Crater High. Before we begin definitely hit the subscribe button if you have not done that yet and you've watched several of my videos if uh, you like this video itself, or you just kind of like the idea of this content, give this video a thumbs up so the algorithms will pick me way up. So the Crater High is basically a reimagining of the Chuck Taylor Classic with completely new and updated materials based on recycled materials. Uh, the first thing about this sneaker is that it's based on some of the Space Hippie technology, uh, and the entire shoe is at least 40% recycled material by weight. So let's start with the upper like we always do. So the upper is actually made to feel like canvas. I would say that uh, unlike the, the real Chuck Taylor, this has actually a really, really smooth chambray type of feeling. I actually really like the material. It does feel premium, which is great. The material uses uh, recycled materials from, I believe, polyester, as well as just random textiles that they could find and weave together. And it, I feel like it has a great premium feeling and it's done in this kind of chambray type color. So moving to the front of the shoe, we all know and love the toe cap area of the iconic Chuck Taylor. They try to replicate that by putting some stitching over here, uh, but it's not a different toe cap or type of rubber material. It's just more stitching to make it feel uh, and look like there's something there. Uh, it would actually be kind of cool if they if they use a, a, a recycled material to put over it, maybe like a TPU or something like that. Um, but it does look pretty good and it definitely looks pretty clean. Going up the sneaker, this is where there's some major changes. So the Chuck Taylor is obviously known for the metal eyelets that are on the sneakers themselves. And over here, they've changed it pretty drastically with an overlay of, a, of, of more textile that's done in a lighter, almost white, off-white-ish uh, type of color. And it has some stitching all throughout it to give it some texture. And then there are two little stitch marks on both the lateral as well as medial sides over there. The other major change on the sneaker in the lacing system is instead of just having the laces go back and forth uh, through the eyelets, they also added a blue piece of nylon that is in the front over here with some converse based um, stitching throughout that is done in a lime. That's obviously hold the laces together better. I'm not sure if that adds anything or if it's mainly aesthetic, but this, this blue pull tab uh, is pretty eye catching because it breaks up some of that color that, uh, that is probably muted on the rest of the sneaker so far. Moving into the back of the shoe, you have this lime stitching that is done throughout the back. Uh, it simulates a heel cup. It feels like a, it just kind of st stitched along the heel cup and uh, there's a little bit of, of reinforced material in the back over here. Then going into the back of the sneaker, you have some more of this burgundy stitching that is running up the sneaker and more of this blue nylon or, or sky blue nylon that is done uh, in the back as well with more of that lime based stitching. Going to the medial side of the sneaker, you have some of the more iconic hits of what a Chuck Taylor, what makes a Chuck Taylor a Chuck Taylor. Uh, you have the star symbol from Converse right there. And then over here, you have the two little eyelets that are typically uh, done in metal. And uh, that's obviously for breathing purposes, but they've kind of simulated that uh, with just two holes and some stitching throughout. I assume to give it a little more shape because there's some holes there. Finally, finishing off the sneaker, the sock liner is actually made out of a, a pretty comfortable white canvas so it's not exactly the same as the regular Chuck Taylor when it's where it's pretty much just the back um, of, of the uh, of the material so it feels pretty good compared to the regular Chuck Taylor. Moving into the midsole which is where this shoe gets its name called the Crater High. It's made out of Crater Foam. Uh, crater Foam is carried over from the Space Hippie line and Crater Foam is basically some type of uh, recycled foam that is created by Nike. In addition to the recycled foam they have something called Nike Grind that's put into it. Nike Grind is a technology that Nike created so that they can actually reutilize and recycle outsoles and midsoles and grind it up in a way and put it into other materials. So Crater Foam is one of those things. Uh, on the Vapor Max as well, they actually use Nike Grind to uh, put on the rubber pieces on the bottom of the Vapor Max outsole. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with it. But the Crater Foam itself, uh, where it's interesting is that you know typically you have a vulcanized midsole uh, when it comes down to the uh, the Chuck Taylor All Star. Uh, this crater version is just one piece, so there's no kind of separate version in the middle of the sneaker over here uh, for traction. It's just one very, very comfortable piece of sneaker. So the crater foam feels amazing. Uh, I 
honestly think it, it looks really cool as well. Uh, I really like what Nike has done with both Nike Grind as well as Crater Foam. So the speckles, are, what is also kind of cool is that it's relatively flexible, so you can see that it goes in and out, and it's really, it's a really, really lightweight compressible foam, uh, and it's pretty squishy. So what are my thoughts on this sneaker? So let's start with the style. The style I think is okay. Um, you know, I don't love the way Chuck Taylors look in general. They just, they've never vibed with me. But for a lot of people, Chuck Taylors are their main shoe. And I would say that from a purist perspective, there's a couple elements that I, I just don't love. Um, this back little area here where the stitching is, where the heel cup should be, if they would have just left that alone, I feel like it'd be a much cleaner shoe. I don't, you know, maybe even if they use a different color or, um, you know, something that was a little more muted than this lime, I would have liked it a little more. Uh, just the stitching, I think, throughout the shoe is, is just off. I don't think you need this burgundy here. I don't think it adds much to the sneaker. And, like, even over here with this lime area is, I just, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Where I do like the style is the crater foam. Uh, I think it, it looks really, really cool uh, and definitely looks recycled, obviously. And um, I, I think the combination with just slight tweaks with what this looks like would actually have made a huge difference. You know, there's nothing wrong with the Converse. There's a reason it's a classic. But at the same time, I, I just I just don't love it. But as a sneaker, so hypothetically, you love Chuck Taylors. I would 100% recommend this sneaker over a regular Chuck Taylor any day of the week. It's super comfortable. The materials are soft. It's a really, really great, um, great, great setup in terms of sneaker, in terms of comfort. So nothing to, to go wrong with here. You know, I'm, I'm hoping that they eventually release some low tops, which I'm a little more into than these highs. And uh, that will make things even better and more comfortable. But I would say that that you know, if you had a choice between, and you had the choice to actually cop one of these, uh, these actually sold out, and they were a lot harder to get than I expected. But if you were to get either regular Chuck Taylor or the Crater High version of the Chuck Taylor, I would 100% go with the Crater High. When it comes down to sizing, I this is a. Uh, when it comes down to sizing, I would actually go half size down and wear your your normal and typical. Chuck Taylor size. These are actually a little too big for me. I was only able to cop my reg my regular true to size. My regular true to size is just not good for Chuck Taylors. Uh, you should go half size down, and I would consider that here as well. There is one thing I do want to note: the width of the shoe and where the toe area is seems like it's wider than your typical Chuck Taylor. I don't have any Chuck Taylors right now to compare it to, but I didn't have some of that pinching feeling that I normally get, which is why I actually don't like the shoe. Uh, when I put on a Chuck Taylor, so that's a good thing. It could have also just be that the fact that this is much softer than the rubber piece that's in the front of uh, your classic Chuck Taylor. And that's it, guys. This is the Converse All-Star Crater High. If you have any questions, leave that in the comments below. But until next time, peace.